Welcome back to Pinoy Crossover. Joining us is a very, very special person in the basketball, uh, Filipino basketball community, Mr. Eddie Samira. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Mark, for inviting me. Mm. It's my pleasure to be in your show. If you didn't know who Mr. Eddie Samir is, he's one of the pioneers of Filipino basketball, from organizations to teams to scouting, you name it. Now, we want to know more about him. So I guess the big question we'll start off with is, how did you start in this basketball, you know? How did you get into yeah, basketball? Yeah, how did you get basketball well, in the first way, place? Way back in the Philippines, I was, uh, I was playing basketball. I, I was in a college uh, playing basketball. I made the college team. Then my dream is to play PBA. Mm -hmm. all, all the basketball players in the Philippines always want to be mm -hmm. a pro. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, not unfortunately, but fortunately, I have two choices, whether I want to migrate to Canada or mm -hmm. stay in the Philippines, playing basketball and continue going to university. Mm -hmm. But I picked to go to Canada. So as, as soon as I landed in Canada, it was October of 1974. There's a tournament in Montreal already. Mm -hmm. I went there right away and played basketball out on my second day in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I met some friends, I made some friends, and then that started the whole thing in Toronto. When did you immigrate here? What, were 1974. You? So you were an unknown age more? Around 20 years old. Oh, 20, so you're a 20 year old kid then. It was my friend. <laughs> I was your friend. Oh. I thought this oh. was your friend. Yeah. Uh, ano so, ba yung ano yung uh, kasi you had the choice, right? May kung magstay ka sa finish in university or go to migrate or college yeah. and then migrate to Canada. Yeah. Ano yung choice ba ng parents mo? Choice mo na? No, like, like I always want to help my my parents and my brother. So I said mm -hmm. the opportunity I think is bigger in Canada than mm -hmm. staying back home playing basketball. Mm -hmm. See, it's okay if you can make it in basketball, but a lot of, you know, a lot of players doesn't make it. So mm -hmm. I know if you work hard enough in Canada, there's a lot of opportunity that you'll make a good living, a good, uh, you'll be yeah, able to help your yeah, family, family. Home. Absolutely. That's, that's the OFW that, story. That, that, right? That's what we used to do all the time. Yeah. Exactly. So, so after you immigrated to Canada and your basketball dreams were kind of done now. Yeah. What, how did you still connect with basketball? What, um, what made you still uh, be in that basketball community? So, while like I'm still in the Philippines, I, my mm -hmm. people that I know this mm -hmm. year is already recruiting me to play oh. in the, on their team. So it's a lot easier for me because you know Filipinos are not that tall. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of the tallest at that time. So they keep on talking to you. Yes, yeah, and on. they say, okay. okay. So, as soon as I landed here, I went to Montreal for a tournament. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's and then uh, I joined other teams and I joined the Filcon group mm -hmm. since 1974. And then I play with them all the time. I've been Filcon through all my mm, uh, so basketball. Filcon by blood. Basically. Yes, <laughs> basically. So I used to run softball league. Oh, softball too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, softball league. We have bowling league. Yeah. Wow. Now we are, I'm into golf, <laughs> so we have built in golf. Oh, yeah. okay, so, okay. So basketball, yeah, the, the basketball is my fashion. So mm. uh, at that time I was still single, right? Mm. So I can do what I basically <laughs> want at that yeah. time. And then I basically, I get married in 1976. Mm -hmm. Right now I have two kids where they all, both of them are basketball Battle. players too. Mm -hmm. One play in the Philippines. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where did uh, where did your or what did you teach your kids in terms of basketball? Or do you see that dream of basketball in them when you first when you, when <laughs> they're growing up? <laughs> so that was the extension of my dream. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah. 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 So my older son, uh, yeah, he, he was into it, but he he came like he started playing basketball when he was a bit older than my younger son. Mm -hmm. My younger son was. He was six years old and he's already into wow. basketball. Yeah. yeah, and I used to take him to like uh, like clinics and st stuff like that. Uh, and my other my other older son, like my older son, mm -hmm. um, he uh, go to he goes to uh, clinic too, but not as the same as my younger son. So your younger son show, showed more drive and yes, you saw he was, more potential. He was yeah. always. They said, I'm, I'm, I'm a born winner, right? oh, like okay. I can do this. Mm -hmm. So 
yeah. in high school he has he has moved he transferred to Madre Teresa to be oh, yeah. to be to have a more competitive basketball program mm -hmm. so he went to Opsa twice mm -hmm. he won the Opsa quadruple A in, nine, in 2007 so mm -hmm. did you coach did you coach your sons the whole yeah. way or? both of them both of them both okay. of them did you feel like basketball was something that uh, for them is something that came naturally to them or do you feel like it was more seeing you play or seeing your I passion think with it, the it, it both yeah. like yeah. both of them are very athletic mm -hmm. but when they were kids they always come with me to yeah. basketball and always watch me yeah so I guess they pick it up from the big, you were the big influence in yeah. terms of them shaping yes, that yes that's for yeah. sure yeah mm -hmm. So I and then I never hold back when it comes to basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you very honest with them? Do you tell them what? what is, <laughs> yeah. Are you? Because some parents obviously they sometimes they you know they think they are they good. think they're good. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. They think they're good. But, uh, but like looking at looking back, you, you can you can tell whether they got it or not. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know, like I uh, well, because I coach I coach I help coach them in mm -hmm. high school level and yeah. OBA level. So I've been around. Yeah. So I know. The caliber of uh, the game, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So, when in 2007 we went home mm -hmm. for a holiday, and my youngest son said, "Hey, I can make you." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was, yeah. a, it was just a, it was just a, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was that was a plan. Uh, it was yeah. just like, yeah, let me try it, it like that. He was yeah. playing playing with some some kids. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Dad, leave me here. I can I, wow. uh, I can make it here. I can make yeah. it here." So I don't want to hold him back. Hold him back. So, yeah. and you did mention that one of your son went to the Philippines to play basketball. What was some advice that you gave to him, or like as a as a father or as a basketball player that oh, played it, in the was, it was hard, hard for me and my mm -hmm. wife because mm -hmm. yeah. he never been to the Philippines. Oh, mm -hmm. so he was really a, like the a first fish time out of water. Yeah. 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 So what we decided to do, I asked my older son, Michael, I said, Mike, could you stay here with your brother? Because oh. he never been here. I, w mm -hmm. I don't want him to be alone. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I'll quit my job. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Just like that. Yeah. yeah. So I said, OK, so I'll make sure he's, he's look after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't want him to I don't I don't want to deprive him of like, you know, how it is in, yeah. in here yeah. mm -hmm. versus living in the Philippines because you're going to have a culture shock. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I try to create an environment that is almost similar to Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, his brother being there, it's, I think it would be a lot easier. Yeah, so, it's hard to, we, we just arrived from the Philippines maybe like a month ago, yeah. right? And it was, it's a totally different environment. Yeah. And there's new kids that are going to the Philippines right now. Right for I've never experienced, yeah, never experienced it's like the Philippines, there. Yeah. and it's yeah. it's hard to just think that you can just play because it, there's more to it, right? Did, yeah. Didn't you go home once and play there? Oh you yeah, part yeah. Of that I was I was part of that group. Yeah, my son was there. He speak up and says, "Sebastian, remember?" Oh yeah, I talked. Yeah, we talked with your son. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. He did yeah, a little he gave information a, like, session. Uh, yeah, wow. and he told me about it. He called me. Hey, the group of the. Filipino kids from Toronto mm -hmm. was playing. They played my my team. I think it's a junior team that you you guys play. And yeah. he said I stand up and I spoke up with them to give them what, how it is here in, yeah. in, in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you still remember that. No, I, I remembered because I. It's funny because all of that was like one of our favorite parts because in the elevator we just talked and we just talked about the life in Philippines yes. and that talk actually made three of my friends. Um, decide to go there, like John John, who was UST, he's still there, yeah, G League, yeah, 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 and then JR, he was UP over there, and so like it, I think it's very important that you get to talk to someone that's living it. Yes. So that's a, that's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, and then when he, like he like he did very well because he went into the championship three times yeah. in SCA. Yeah. So I got a chance to go home every year to watch him in the championship. So. Yeah. And that's probably a different feeling to see. Yes. Yeah, so what was that feeling like watching your son you play? Son, that, I was there when that I won the 2008. So yeah, it wow. was. Did you cry? <laughs> was, <laughs> I didn't cry, but I, we yeah. we celebrated together. Yeah. Like I was like even I was recognized by the television. They focused. They wow. said Jonathan's dad is here just to watch. Mm -hmm. That was something special. Wow. Yeah.